temperatures will warm up as we head into the weekend. I'm Fox 23 meteorologist Megan McClellan tracking the best times to avoid rain and when to grab an umbrella. All of these storms are going to continue to make their way through green country. Now we do have a new flash flood warning in place for Cherokee and Adair County, and that actually goes till four o'clock this afternoon. And right over northeastern Oklahoma, we are actually starting to see a lot of this clear out. But where we see temperatures drop below freezing across northern and northeastern portions of the area, that's where I'm looking. We could see that transition to snow. Okay, moving off to the east, and what I'm going to do is actually track this leading edge. Moving off to the east, let's go over the next 45 minutes. If you have plans later on tonight, maybe you're headed out to the BOK Center for the Tulsa Oilers hockey game. It's really going to be pleasant as you're walking to the BOK Center and as you're walking back to your car. While you're outside, make sure that you're reapplying every two hours. Make sure you know the UV index, which I just showed you this morning. The one that we had in Alaska is considered to be 100 times bigger and 1000 times stronger than the one that we saw in Pawnee back in 2016. When we have a UV index this high, it does put it into that extreme category, meaning that it only takes about 15 minutes to burn if you are outside without sunscreen. So have a flash flood warning that goes until 130. And this is where areas that we have the potential to see some very high rainfall rates. The heat index has it already feeling like the triple digits outside. Meteorologist Megan McClellan is in the Fox 23 Severe Weather Center tracking the excessive heat warnings and the heat advisories for us in place today, Megan. And it's another day where we're going to have to deal with those same type of idea through tomorrow, Saturday, even part of Sunday. So if you are headed outside, do keep these in mind. These mean that our heat index values are getting into those dangerous categories with the heat advisory, meaning that that peak heat index is about 105 or even higher. And our excessive heat warning, meaning that heat index is above 110 expected for today. So this is something that you want to think Think about We're likely going to have them through the rest of the week for the places that they haven't already been issued. Many places are have already seen some of those issued through the weekend as well. So these officially are in effect from 11 o'clock today to 9 o'clock tonight. And that's why I've been saying over the last 45 minutes that you really want to wait till sunset or even past sunset before you go outside because we're still going to be dealing with a lot of this heat. And that isn't going to stick around through the weekend. Heat index all the way up to 113 at times, but Here's the good news. There's actually some relief headed our way as we head into next week. I'm talking temperatures back down in the mid 80s, which is going to put us about 10 degrees below what's considered normal for this time of year. And I'm tracking some shower and storm chances returning to green country. Today we're about four degrees above average and we're going to be pretty close to that over the next couple days, about five degrees above average with our average high of 94. But then that cold front comes in along with those rain chances and that's going to drop us about eight to 10 degrees below that normal high that we see this time of year. So we're going to see that nice change. We're going to notice that the humidity is not as high. The air is not as sticky once that cold front moves through. We are going to have to hold out for it, though, all the way through the rest of the day, staying nice and dry. Here we are kicking off Friday morning. It's still dry and it's going to stay that way all the way through Friday evening. Here we are first thing Saturday morning before a lot of us have really woken up. Still nice and dry, staying dry. There's some rain chances way off to our east, but then we're not going to see anything really in green country. And so we start to get to Sunday into Monday. This is Sunday morning rain chances kind of around green country, but then they inch towards us. And as we head into the evening and overnight hours, this is when I'm starting to think that we're going to have the chance for some of that rain. It's going to increase as we go into Monday. More of us seeing rain as that cold front moves through, especially across southern portions of green country as we get into Monday afternoon. All of that pushes through and then we start to dry out as we go into Tuesday. There's still a little isolated chance that we could have a pop up shower or two, but most of that's going to be in the morning. We're going to take temperatures from 99, maybe even 100, depending on how we see things play out into the 80s. And then we're going to stay in the 80s as we head into the middle part of next week. But then you notice that the rain clears out. We have a lot of sunshine still sticking around. That means our temperatures are going to be climbing back up as well, even as we head into next weekend. Coming up on Fox 23 News at 5, Chief Meteorologist James Laylot is breaking down the latest with the heat headed our way and the latest timing of this cold front that's going to drop these temperatures.